Interesting facts. Wolf. Some animals appeared on the planet much earlier than others. Wolves have been living on Earth for a very long time, longer than the domestic dog. We know this because wolves were painted on the walls of caves by people who lived not only before your dad and mom, but even before kings and queens. Wolves live in groups. A group of wolves is called a pack. In a pack, you will find a number of males and females and their pups. The pups respect their father and mother. The male wolf takes great care of the female. He would never expose her to trouble. All the food he finds, he will bring to her. How many smells can you distinguish? A lot, right? The smell of clothes, books, pies. But the wolf can distinguish many more smells. For example, a wolf can determine the type of animal by smell, even if it is so far away that it is not visible. This helps the wolf while hunting. People talk, and wolves howl. Their howls are different. Wolves can howl to call a pack to hunt, or just sing a song and relax. Bear. Bears are not only strong, but also smart. When they find a trap left by hunters in the forest, in order to evade the hunter, they might throw a stick in to check it, and so avoid the trap. If they suddenly see or hear a person in the forest, they will hide behind a tree. They stand behind a tree and do not move for a very long time until the person leaves. How long can you sit quietly? Some bears can count. Come on, tell me, can you count? Or is the bear smarter than you? The bear is often called clubfoot. A clubfoot is one who, when he walks, steps not on the whole leg, but only on one side of it. You can try to do this. It looks funny and uncomfortable. In fairy tales, they say that bears always walk like that, but this is not the case. They simply step on the front and hind feet on one side first, and then on the front and hind feet on the other side. Therefore, it seems as if they are clubfoot. Bears swim very well, and bears existed before humans. You would agree that dogs, wolves, and foxes are alike. This means that they had a common ancestor. This also includes the bear. Yes, once upon a time, there lived a bear dog. Sheep. What are sheep for? Right, they give us soft wool. Then, threads are made from this wool. And people make clothes from these threads. A whole bag of wool can be sheared from one sheep at a time. There are many breeds of sheep. Each of them has a special coat. The wool of sheep is used by people more often than the coat of any other animal. Scientists still cannot find a better and warmer material than sheep wool. Sheep live in large groups. Such a group is called a herd. If a lamb lives separately and does not communicate with her friends, she will begin to feel very sad, very much so. Sheep are afraid of large areas. They are more comfortable if, for example, a fence is built around them. Sheep have a good memory. They remember the shepherd who grazes them. If you take several flocks and mix them, then only the sheep from his flock will follow the shepherd. In addition, sheep have excellent hearing. Therefore, they are afraid of harsh sounds. Giraffe The giraffe is a very large animal. Giraffes have a long neck and very long legs. Therefore, they can seem clumsy, but can, in fact, run very fast. A giraffe could catch up with a car motoring along at 60 kilometers an hour. Look out the window. Has a giraffe run by? The giraffe can weigh the same as a typical car 
And what's more, their neck alone can be heavier than a bear. The male giraffe is so tall that it can reach the roof of a two-story house. The female giraffe is a little smaller and lighter. A giraffe's heart weighs as much as you weighed when you were about two years old. Well, or you will weigh at that age. Falling is always unpleasant, but imagine when a baby giraffe is born and crawls out of its mother's tummy, it immediately falls to the ground. Moreover, the height from the belly of the giraffe to the ground is greater than the height of the refrigerator in the kitchen. But from such a fall, the baby giraffe will feel nothing. On the same day, it will walk. Giraffes also have kindergartens. One mother looks after her offspring and other calves, while the other mothers are looking for food 